Hi everyone, this is Diane. I am coming on because I am packing up my uh, entry for Tina's 2000K giveaway. And what she is doing is she is giving away Maggie Holmes collections. And I can't remember how many she is sending out. I'm, I'm, don't quote me, I, th I think she's sending out seven different boxes. But anyways, I will link her below. She is Tina Creations both on Instagram and YouTube and then you can watch her video for the rules that she has for the giveaway. I believe it is international also and it is due August 31st so you have plenty of time to make something and send it to her and then you have a chance to win. So this is my entry. I used Round Trip, Woodland Groves, and Sunny Days. She would like everything done in Maggie Holmes, of course. And all she wanted was a Memory Dex card and three embellishments. So what I did was I made this pocket from KF's Craft. Of course, you use Maggie Holmes. This is Round Trip. I decorated the back. This is what I'm putting everything in. I am sending it flat mail. These are Chaos Crafts flowers. This is the poppy and this is the new tulip one. And uh, this was just given to me this ribbon, a whole package of it. It's just so pretty and I love working with gold and I figured she, Tina would just love it too. So um, that's what I did for the front of it and what I'm going to do is package everything up. So this is my memory decks. This was actually created for me, this whole embellishment here. Years ago, I have been hoarding it. I have been hoarding it for just the perfect thing. And this is, this was it. I, for somebody who loves Maggie Holmes as much as Tina, I figured she would love it too. Uh, I did combine Woodland Grove and Round Trip together because the colors went really well together. And, um, I did put a little little tiny floral here and put a flower on top of it just to bring some greenery around it. I put some little diamond dot embellishments on it. And um, I know I had somebody ask me where this came from. And I'm sorry, I, I don't know the dye. I think I found it. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure it's the same one. but But this was made for me and it's just gorgeous. So... Uh, it's made out of glitter paper and she paper pieced it together along with all the greenery here and the little flowers and it is a shaker it doesn't shake but it she put vellum behind here and created some sort of shaker so I used it on this because I know it will be appreciated not that nobody else would appreciate it but this just happened to work out just perfectly so I am going to uh, gift this to Tina and that will be the first thing in the box. I did put tape over my address so uh, she won't have to worry about the address. I, I just love how everything just kind of went together. I made this little card because she loves cactuses and this had a kitty on it and I thought she would enjoy it. Um, this is, and I'm gifting her. This one also, it has the three kitties on it. I figured she might be able to use it. I couldn't use it because of the red, but um, I figured she might be able to use it. And I am going to, I don't have anything to put that in just yet. So I'm going to set that aside. Um, the next thing I did was I was in the butterfly mood because I just made a bunch of butterflies for Jessica's, uh, what was hers? Hers is called... Uh, I got it right here. Hers is called um, Butterfly Booster Challenge. She's trying to reach five, 500 subbies on uh, YouTube. So anyways, we all know this is uh, Erica's die. This is a little heart rosette. And I've got glue on my fingers. And this is KF's Crafts Bloom. I did use both foam for both parts and popped it up. This little die is from Erica's bag topper, her small bag top, butterfly bag topper die. And I put diamond dots on it. So it is popped up a little bit and I do have a bag for this because it is long. So 
So I'm just going to put that in there and I'm going to put the butterfly standing up, I think. And then the next one I have is, this is Erica's, this is the large butterfly bag topper. And um, I put pearls to match the paper on both the butterfly and the bag topper. And I do have a bag for that. So, I'm, I hope it's an embellishment enough. I hope she doesn't mind getting a bag topper, but I figure she might like that. So, so there's that. I'm going to put that in there. And then I made this butterfly uh, bolt. I think it's called butterfly bolt bow from Erica. And uh, again, I used the Woodland Grove and Round Trip together. Oh, this one here was, this one here was just uh, Woodland Grove. That's what this paper was. It's, you can't see the peaches behind it, but, um, you know, I, I kind of used up all my paper creating all this. So I had to come up with something else and I figured it would match the card. This is Sunny Days. This paper here. This is my new stamp. Um, I I was in a swap with Rose and Roseberry, and she had the stamp, and she told me where to get it, so I got it. So this is my first time sending it out. <laughs> Anyways, this is the little tiny flower that I I have. I just thought it would just go really cool. I made a bunch of them for. Uh, Bethany's little mini die swap and I have some left over so I just added that to it. They're actually uh, flowers from a Sizzix lemon die that I have. And there we go. So that's going to go. I'm going to put that in something. I've got to find something but there you go. That's it. So easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? <laughs> But I did, I did think the colors worked out really well. So, anyways, thank you so much for coming by and seeing what I'm sending out. And may God bless your day. Bye.